Hi, in this video I'll show you how to make Windows 7 a lot faster. So for this you'll need two things, CCleaner and this disk defragmenting program. The links to both of these will be in the description. Once you have downloaded both of these files, you want to install them, that's pretty easy. I'll go through it once. So you want to open the file, click run, and this has come up because I've already got it installed but I'll reinstall it. then you should come up with this, then you want to click next I accept, next then you want to change the destination if you wish, which I will change then you want to click next again then next then if you want to create a desktop icon you can if you want so I will create a desktop icon, then you want to click next again and it should come up with something like this you want to check launch OSLogix disk defrag then you want to click finish it should come up with this. Then you want to select your two, or you want to select two or more, or if only if you have one, then select one. Hard main hard disk. You want to check it, then click defrag. Should come up with something like this, and that will start defragmenting. It will take less than a minute. You can see that my D drive has already been defragmented. It mainly depends on your fragmented status. So right now I've not got much fragmented because I just defragmented uh, a couple of hours ago. So you can see it's done now. Then you want to close this. Then you want to run CCleaner, which uh, the setup of the CCleaner, which I'll go to my downloads directory and find. Um, a lot of files here. Then you wanna double click it, then click run again, then click OK, then click next, I agree. Then the destination folder, you wanna select the destination folder, so again it's D for me, then click next and uncheck automatically check for updates because this will quite annoy you quite a bit sometimes as your firewall and um firewall may conflict with it. Then click install. I mean it's optional, if you do want to check uh, check it then you can keep it checked. Then on this um, dialog box you want to tick run CCleaner and click finish. You should come up with something that looks like this. It might be in the center but that doesn't really matter. You want to maximize it. Then under Internet Explorer you want to check everything besides autocomplete from history. Under Windows Explorer you want to check everything. Under System you want to check everything besides from FTP accounts. And in Advanced you want to check old prefetch data, user assist history, IIS log files, custom files and folders and leave wipe free space blank then you want to click run cleaner then once this dialog box comes up you want to press ok then you must close google chrome to allow the internet cache to be cleaned that's because i've got the google chrome running so i'll just close that and then click ok and you'll see here that it has removed quite a bit from my system you can see it's removed 336 megabytes from my system then you want to go into registry and click scan for issues it will scan for issues and if you have any registry issues it should come up here but I've just cleaned my registry um, about an hour ago so it's not come up with anything if it does just click fix selected issues then do you want to make up a backup of the registry you can if you want but I wouldn't recommend it because it wouldn't really mess up your system but then again if you're a pro you might want to check that and click no and click fix all selected issues then you want to close CCleaner and go to start and type in msconfig then click enter. Then on this tab you should st select startup and disable any unwanted services. You know from the services which ones you want to disable. So for example I don't really want Nero backup to run at startup so I've just unchecked that. Neither do I want uTorrent or QuickTime or Google Update because I don't want my browser to be updated or I don't want a backup because I've already got a backup system installed. Um, neither do I want Adobe Reader and Acrobat man Manager. So just uncheck all of those and click apply. So right now I'll disable um, when Microsoft Windows Mobile Device Manager, which I shouldn't really disable, but I'll disable just for the purpose of this video. Then you want to click Apply. Then um, go to the Services tab and uncheck all these services which I've mentioned in the video description. Um, 
here the services and just disable all of these and um, again if you're a pro you may not want to disable all of these but for the everyday day-to-day -day users these services are basically useless so um, you might as well disable it I mean then you want to go to a boot tab and change the time up it would normally be 30 you want to change it to 3 then you want to go to advanced options and take number of processors and select two but um, this will only work if you have multiple processors in your system so I have um, two processor cores in my system because I've got an AMD Athlon 64 times 2 and it will also work if you have Intel Core 2 Duo or something but it won't work if you have something like Intel Pentium 4 which only has one core then you want to click OK and apply and OK then it should come up with this then you want to click restart but since I'm doing this video I'm going to click exit without restart then you want to click start right click prop uh, computer and go to properties advanced system options uh, advanced system settings then you want to go to advanced and click set settings then over here you want to disable any of these that you think um, you should disable basically all what this does is disable any unwanted effects or animations in your uh, windows so I have for me these are the ones that I really like and um, some of them I don't really need so I've disabled them what I have kept is animate controls and elements inside windows animate windows when ma minimizing and maximizing animes animations in the taskbar and start menu enable error peak enable desktop composition composition enable transparent glass then the rest and pill show thumbnail instead of icons have been disabled i have checked show thumbnails instead of icons show translucent selection of rectangle show window contents while dragging i've checked those and um, the one underneath show window contents while dragging i've disabled and um I've enabled smooth edges for screen, uh, f um, screen fonts, smooth scroll list box, use drop shadows for windows uh, for icons, labels on the desktop, and I have also checked um, use win visual styles on windows and buttons. Once you have selected this, click apply and OK, and then click OK. Then you want to restart once more. This will apply all of your settings and make sure that they have been applied, and that should really make your windows faster. One more thing I do want to add, however, if you have something like um, Google Chrome or something, you may want to, sometimes not all the history is deleted, so you have to delete them manually, so what I do is, um, for Google Chrome, I just go into settings, and then click options, and um, under personal stuff, I click, um, hang on a minute, um, click, where is it gone? I go in content settings, no I don't. I go and clear browsing data, my bad. And then um, you want to tick all of these that you think are appropriate and clear data from this period so you can select one hour, one day. So if you've been, um, for example, if you've been doing your personal banking or something, then you may only want to delete history from the last previous day or last hour. But um, if you really want to get everything sweeped out of your Google Chrome, then just select everything and then click, click clear browsing data. This will um, increase browsing speed and click close and one more thing I want to add is um, this is irrelevant to a video but I made a new channel called um, Atomic Tutorials but it's not really my channel it's, an, uh, it's a channel shared between me and um, uh, one of my classmates so um, I think um, you should subscribe to this channel because there will be more gaming videos tech videos and um, other unboxings and reviews so Please guys subscribe to this video and subscribe to my account if you found this useful. I mean subscribe to Atomic Tutorials and subscribe to my accounts if you found it if if you found this video useful. Anyways, thanks for watching.